Hello fans and friends across the universe and welcome to my YouTube channel from me to you. My name is Keir Smith. Back today with another Fab Four video. A while ago I chose my four favourite songs, my Fab Four from each of the Beatles UK studio albums. So I thought I'd move on to the solo years. I'm a big fan of the Beatles solo albums and I own them all by John, Paul, George and yes, even Ringo. And I listen to them a lot, probably more than I do the Beatles. And that's probably because there's so much choice. So you can trust that I'm well informed when it comes to these albums. And for no reason in particular, apart from the fact that I've been listening to a lot of George Harrison lately, I thought I'd start my first Fab Four from the solo years with this album, George Harrison's 1976 release, 33 and a Third. And 33 and a Third is a good George Harrison album. It's not quite up there with his best work for me, but not down there with the worst either. And I got three of the four songs together quite quickly here, but then ran into some difficulty when choosing the fourth, as I found is often the case when I'm doing this type of video. But finally, I settled on the four, so here is my Fab Four from George Harrison's 33 and a Third. Okay, I'll start my list with what was one of my very first favourite George Harrison songs, because when I was 15 years old, I'm 43 now, I went out and bought the best of Dark Horse years, 1976 to 1989. And the only song on this album from 33 and a Third was Crackerbox Palace. This song really stood out to me back then. I just thought it was great fun. It was upbeat, happy, catchy, and a little bit quirky. I love the chorus, so infectious. And I've always liked that splodgy keyboard sound that goes with that. And I really like Tom Scott's saxophone break here. And we hear hand claps, which are always welcome and George plays some sublime slide parts too. And growing up with this song, I always like the simplicity of the lyrics here. Sometimes are good, sometimes are bad. That's all a part of life. Well, quite. But yeah, I love the song. It had to be one of my four here. 33 and a Third was actually my first George Harrison album. The first one I owned, the first one I bought with my own money. I'd heard Cloud Nine before, but my brother had borrowed that on take set from a friend. So I'd heard that one, but 33 and a third was the first one I actually owned myself. And when I played the album for the first time, the standout track for me was my next choice, Beautiful Girl. George weaves a really nice and melodic guitar pattern here. And it's Billy Preston, I think, who's playing the organ that swells around it. And George is in good voice here. He sounds happy, like he's playing with a smile on his face, sliding around the fretboard with some style on the solo. And good lyrics too. And the line that always stood out to me was, a lover needed for this soul to survive. I always thought that was really sweet. I find it all very pleasing. Nice melody, good voice, nice production, a soft, mellow and instantly accessible song. It's pretty perfect and it was always going to be on my list. My third choice is Pure Smokey. This is such a lovely, warm and sincere tribute to one of George's heroes, Smokey Robinson. And that certainly comes through in this performance. And this is a fine melody. George was a very unique and creative guitarist in terms of the chords he used and the lines he played. And this song is a really good example of that. And again, I really like Tom Scott's saxophone playing here. It's subtle and lingers in the background, but gives it that soulful touch. And George's guitar solo here is so good. I've said before on this channel that George is a guitarist that doesn't waste notes. He doesn't overplay. And again, this is a good example of that. And the lyrics are really nice too. George sings of the love that's filled my ears. I want to thank you, Lord, for giving us pure smoky. This is such a kind and generous tribute and it's beautiful music, beautifully played. I want to thank you, Lord, for giving us George Harrison. So my fourth and final choice, which was most definitely the most difficult choice, it was going to be learning how to love you. And as I say that now, I'm doubting myself, but I went with true love. And I couldn't resist choosing this song because every time I hear it, I just think there's such a joy to this recording that leaps from the record into my ears and into my heart. It is, of course, a cover version of the old Cole Porter song and 
George has reshaped it and pepped up the arrangement here. And George is in great voice again here, full of enthusiasm. And I really like that chord change in this song where he sings, for you and I have a guardian angel, the way it dips, that's really good. And again, George's slide guitar parts are so good here, so tuneful, I'm forever humming these parts. And of course, the old romantic in me really likes these lyrics. To give to me and to give to you, a love forever true. Ah, oh, it's lovely, super catchy, great song. It makes me smile. So there you go, my Fab Four from George Harrison's 33 and a third. I went with Crackerbox Palace, Beautiful Girl, Pure Smokey and True Love. And of course, feel free to play along wherever you are. If you know and you like George Harrison's 33 and a third, please leave your Fab Four down in the comments section below. And I'll be back with my next Fab Four video very soon, which I've already decided will be on Ringo's Bad Boy album. And as always, thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.